Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about speed versus velocity, average speed versus average velocity. So what is speed? Speed tells how fast an object is moving. Suppose this ball travels 10 meters in 10 seconds. Formula of speed is distance over time. So speed of this ball would be D distance is 10 meters and time is 10 seconds. So speed of this ball would be 1 meter per second. So you can see speed actually tells us how many meters or how much distance object moves in 1 second. Speed is a scalar quantity. It includes only value while velocity tells how fast an object moves in a particular direction. So Velocity tells the value of the object's fastness and also it includes direction of the motion. So velocity of this ball would be formula of velocity is displacement over time. So here object displaces 10 meters in 10 seconds. So again velocity is 1 meter per second but it also includes direction of the motion and ball is traveling to this direction. And this direction is to east. So velocity would be 1 meter per second to east. That's why velocity is a vector quantity. It includes value and direction. Speed and velocity share same unit that is meter per second. Their SI unit is meter per second. Next is how to determine direction of velocity vector. Direction of velocity vector is same as the direction of object motions. If an object is moving in a straight line motion, then direction of motion is along the path. Like this ball is moving to the east. So direction of motion here is to east and the same direction is for velocity vector. So this vector would represent as velocity vector like this towards east. If object is moving in a circular motion like here in a circle, suppose we have to find the object's velocity vector at this point. For that we need to draw a tangent at that point like this. This tangent would represent the direction of velocity vector. If object is at this point then its velocity vector would be like this. The same way here. So, in a straight line motion, direction of velocity vector would be along the path. And in circular motion, direction of velocity vector would be along the tangent of path. Next is average speed versus average velocity. We calculate average speed in those cases where entire trip is traveled with different velocities. Suppose a person starts from point A and travels to point B with velocity V1 and then to Q with velocity V2 and then turns back and travels to point B with velocity V3. So in this case person is traveling the entire trip with different velocity. So we calculate average speed to find the speed of entire trip A to B. So to find average speed we use formula total distance over total time. Don't use formula finding average of all the velocities like this. Don't use this kind of formula to find the average speed. It's wrong. Instead you have to first find the total distance of the entire trip and divide it by the total time. So suppose person travels 20 meters for A to P and then again 20 meters for P to Q and then he turns back and travels 30 meters from Q to B in opposite direction. So total distance, distance is a scalar quantity we have to just add up all the, the lengths. So 20 plus 20 plus 30 is 70 meters. Suppose the total time taken is 20 seconds to complete entire trip. So 70 meter divided by 20 seconds that would give us 3.5 meter per second. 
Let's find average velocity. Its formula is total displacement over total time. You know displacement is the length between starting point A to the ending point B. So this length is 40 meter and this one is 30 meter. So 40 minus 30 would equal 10 meters. So from A to B is 10 meter and that's the displacement. So 10 meters divided by 20 seconds. So 0 0.5 meter per second is the average velocity. Average velocity is a vector quantity. So it includes direction also. Direction of average velocity is same as direction of displacement. And you know direction of displacement is always towards ending point. That means this is our displacement vector and its direction is towards B. So to east. The same direction is for average velocity. So here direction of average velocity is to east. I hope you understand this topic here. In the following video we will discuss different methods to calculate instantaneous velocity. So stay tuned and study more. If you have any questions you can ask your questions in the comment box given below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.